It sounds like then you're building a, a mini rapport with everyone you come in contact with, whether it's craft services or hair and makeup. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's that, and I, um, I think it's that I have a, uh, a strong desire to make sure that, that they know they're appreciated for what they do. Now, what, I'm no, you know, what am I? I'm, you know, I'm a character actor showing up as a guest, uh, but they're, in, they're supporting what I do in a, in, a, in a tangible and an intangible way. So if I can let them know, my God, that was a nice meal, you know, I, I really appreciate that. Because we move through so fast, you know, things are happening so fast on the set. Time is money, and uh, I, I have I have such great regard for the people who do it and support it. Those crews, you know, when I did, I had an interesting experience when I did um, Grey's Anatomy because I was badly damaged. Um, I, their character was badly damaged, I should say. But you know, to, and they le they all left me alone. You know, there was a, there was that thousand yard stare that you get into. And they knew that I had to go back in. But every once in a while, a grip would walk by and just put his hand on my shoulder. <laughs> you know, my God. <clears throat> to have that kind of uh, care or, or, or camaraderie or, or just have someone say, I'm with you. You know, I know this is painful what you're doing. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, they can have any award they want. I, I don't know that anyone's ever going to feel better than that moment uh, of having some, one of your colleagues, one of the guys that's, you know, humping who knows how much cable or light or, or trying to make you look good, just put a hand on your shoulder. That one, you know, I'll, I'll be forever grateful for that. Um, and I do think, you know, as a, and for young actors going in, you just need to try to find a space that you can work in. You know, some, some people are open to you. Gosh, you know, when I first came out here, Kathy Baker came up to me and welcomed me to her set. Thank you so much for joining us. Old school. I used to see, see that a lot. Mark Harmon. Hell, Harmon brought me coffee. He's number one on the call sheet. And he's, we know one another, and, 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 and I'm proud to be able to call Mark my friend. But he's number one on the call sheet. He's bringing me a cup, walking across the lot to bring me a cup of coffee. That's old school. You're not going to see that as much as in the old days. But you can still, you know, you, you can just extend yourself. And if, and if it's not reciprocated, it's not about you. They're, they're thinking about something. They're working on something. Or they're, you know, there's a lot of pathology in our business. You know, we all, I've always said, if you've got to be 40 feet tall on screen to be seen, there's pathology in play, present company included. So, you know, let them have what they need, and if, and if they can't reciprocate, then keep your palms open and do your job. <laughs>